वेलकम टू बिल्ड फॉर भारत वेर यू एंड आई लर्न फ्रॉम द बिल्डर्स एंड मेकर्स फॉर भारत आई एम योर होस्ट संजय जैन टूडे आई हैव विद मी रौनक सामंतरा रौनक इज द फाउंडर ऑफ नाउ फ्लोट इट्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू रौनक थैंक यू सो मच संजय लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन सो रौनक वी मेट फर्स्ट many years ago when you were in your early days of your startup at now floats your goal was to bring a digitization to a community that had never experienced it before and what you did with sms was you helped them step out of their comfort zone tell me more about what you did and how that played out yeah so back in 2011 2012 it was a very interesting scenario right digitizing the merchant or helping the uh, merchants to grow their business you know digitally by leveraging digital what we figured is none of the merchants had a internet on their phone they had all feature phones right so when we went ahead as a typical tech guy you know you want to build an app because all of us knew how to build an iOS app and Android app and Windows phone app those days so we built an app of course when their merchant said that's a door get out nobody wanted to talk to us when he said we are an app because for customers a you have to use internet and then they had to use website to see roi which sort of did not work in the customer's mind so what we thought is okay we have to make him get to the roi with his existing behavioral trends so an sms is one thing which we thought was a great thing model we can leverage because sms is nothing but like a data which the merchant can create and it goes out of the phone to a server right so we built the entire website management protocol on sms itself looks trivial but behind the scene if you look at the challenge was now imagine a form right like where you can take the website title the keywords the merchant wants to optimize for the business category now all that becomes very easy on a typical app or a layout but how do you do them on on an sms right so that was a challenge so we had to really break our heads to figure out how do we simplify website creation three simple sms and we had an sort of a smart text summarization algorithm behind the scene which could make much more sense out of the content created by the merchant right so this really resonated when we went on market i think within the first year we had 2000 merchants adopting our product now that was something really cool and 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 the night when we used to look at our database right we used to have like i'll give an example one of the very first customers was a woodworks guy his name was ziba woodworks like we used to be so amazed that you know i built a wooden temple this guy used to carve out stuff out of wood and he used to literally describe everything that he does on sms and you know and that is to an update on his website right so that was really exciting time for us because the fact that we saw our users now being able to grow their business digitally because the website was being found on google search by the virtue of it merchant updating regularly so the merchant was able to drive his business the merchant was updating his website every week for a category which were not digital at all so that behavior really gave us a lot of confidence ki hey we are that's definitely the mvp because the customer was really using it every week it was not that he signed up with us and forgot about us and that that was a great insight in the big, right in the beginning of our journey that hey if you make sure that you make the customer make only one jump and not multiple jumps to reach the roi then the product will fly because nobody wants to have multiple learning curves to get to the destination one learning curve and you should know the roi right so yeah that was the biggest thing and we sort of maintained that philosophy throughout the last 10 years it's been long but yeah we have always tried to maintain that that hey any new innovation you do it should be easy for the customer it should just be a step away that's fascinating cuz now you have been on this journey you're taking your customers who are comfortable with sms you started supporting them at that point and now you're continuing on that journey with an app tell us more about how once more you're taking them one step out of their comfort zone and supporting them now sure so if you look at 2020 10 2011 we had sms 99% of our customers were in sms fast forward 5 to 6 years later i mean look at india we have the financial revolution happening in india we have the data revolution thanks to jio happening in india we have the internet adoption uh, being nudged on the consumer base i would not say thanks but because of covid so yeah so lot of variables have put us in this stage today where every consumer or every every citizen of india understands the value of internet right so when it comes to merchant they all now know website to hona hi chahiye 
there is no question being asked sir mai ko website kyun chahiye right now the opportunity we see is the way the merchant can get more customers digitally is only when they are able to create differentiated content on their website so today just creating a website is of no use for the merchant just being online is of no use for the merchant you have to create content regularly that's one second is your con- the consumers across instagram across whatsapp across facebook and what have we right so and that's a challenge we have again so how do we help the merchants to create great content so that they can differentiate themselves and we have been honestly working on this product segment for last few years right starting with of course we have an app if you look at our app we have a you know a text box where you can type all the text you can attach an image edit that image it's all there and we get what 100000 updates a month but the challenge is you know many of our customers complain right acha mai karu kya they will say okay create an update in the app they'll come to the update creation screen ha mai kya likhu it's a blank text box a text box makes you think what do i write or image attach button then makes you think acha mai ko what image do i attach to this thing now so that my update looks good if you look at that's a basic problem in merchant's head mai karu kya so we thought okay how do we really solve it uh, now that we have an app the fact that he has already signed up he has already created a website we have all basic business details so what if as a system we could pre curate or pre create certain festive posters offer banners you know product updates pre create these things and recommend him every day so that's what the content is all about where our system is going to recommend ke hey why don't you post this on your website today christmas is coming after 25 days or diwali is coming after 10 days why don't you share this with your customers create a diwali offer share this with customers right and india has by the way more than 200 festivals so even if we as a company are able to cater to just the fe- the diversity of india the, in terms of festivals and the content requirements that the merchant have i think that will be a win win game for us so as a company that, that's what we are very focused on and and now we are trying to really use all our tech knowledge to really predict relevant updates that the merchant would want to use to promote his business and yeah that's the technology sort of we are, we are very focused on building and that's called the content studio which is about to launch i think next month next month it will be live it, it's it's going to be first time in india right nobody has really made it very relevant for the indian msmes which we are trying to achieve and yes we really believe that this will be again a new behavior that we're going to see the moment you simplify the question mai kya update karu right we should see a new kind of behavior the merchants creating a new set of content regularly on their website thanks ronak this is wonderful let me try and summarize it for our listeners what you have done is to try and bring previously non digital smes onto the web and for them to see the roi they have to take one step that they hadn't earlier and your strong belief is that it needs to be only one step and not more you did this first with sms and now you're looking to replicate it again with a content studio so that small businesses know what they need to do to get their customers to come to them and with that you believe we'll be able to actually get more of our bharat customers onto the web and to utilize it for their benefit when we build products for bharat it's very important to understand the what you call the, the maturity of our audience again i would not say that we are less mature or high mature we are very differently groomed audience right it is very important for the product managers to really understand who the audience is and build accordingly any product should be simple to use it should not require so much of training that's a great insight for those who are listening and who are building products for bharat i want to thank you ronak for that thank you so much sanjay thank you for tuning in this has been another episode of build for bharat where we feature bite sized discussions with the architects who are building India's inclusive digital future. Build for Bharat is a part of the Bharat Inclusion Initiative where we support entrepreneurs who are building for Bharat with inclusive products. We are on the web, Twitter and LinkedIn. Do write to us with your suggestions and requests to feature a guest or a topic. Build for Bharat is available on all major podcast platforms, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast fix from we will be back again soon with more insights subscribe now to never miss an episode